What are the must knows about digital marketing conferences? Okay, number one, what is the first thing with all conferences that you think I am going to say? Sit in the front row. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I really, really mean it. This is not just part of my branding or like a cute little slogan. Sit in the front row and just watch what happens and be so deliberate. And Nancy is my front row conference girl, Nancy uh, Maryland, who's here with us today, but not on camera. I see Nancy in there. Um, front People in the front row, when you go to a conference, though, that is where the movers and shakers are, okay? Because they're so into it and they're just like all in and they're just, you know, they've got energy and positivity and um, it's, it's who you want to sit next to. So if you have to get there 10 minutes early to stand by that door, um, do that. And, and maybe, you know, you're not going to be able to do that with every single speaker you want to see. So you're going to map it out in advance where you know you want to be on the front row because you're going to see everything first, hear everything first. You know, one time I went to a marketing conference and uh, I was in the front row of, I cannot remember his name, Billy Jean. His name's Billy Jean. And he, his, his thing is like, Billy Jean loves marketing was the name of his website, I think. And he asked a question and I, I like shouted out the answer, but a million other people in the room did as well. But I was up front. Guess what? He handed me a $100 bill. And I was like, this couldn't be more perfect for my message of front row. Like it literally pays to be in the front row, like literally. So, um, so, okay. So I'm made my point there. Um, okay. The other thing is, and this is for all conferences, be a great note taker and, um, and a great tweeter. Okay. So, uh, and the note taking part of things, take pictures of the speakers and write notes, take pictures of their slides and write notes. At the end of this, my best blog post, best meaning the most traffic, most shares of any blog post I think I've ever had was simply my takeaways and synopsis of every speaker at the Kajabi summit that they had, okay? So I captured every speaker and then all my notes, that's where the good note taker part comes in. I just basically summarized the key takeaways and the bullet points of every single speaker. And so, so, so that's me being of service. It was so helpful to people. The, the speakers really appreciated it. I tagged every single speaker. Those speakers with huge audiences retweeted it, reshared it. So be a great note taker and a great tweeter. Um, what else? The, the, here's some things that are kind of out of the box. Uh, I've seen some of my colleagues show up to social media marketing world with like, uh, I'm thinking of Sally Henderson specifically, like she showed up her her kind of, um, uh, one of her branding pieces are orange sunglasses. She's got them on every orange frame sunglasses and she's got it on, you know, all over her website and on her branding. So she showed up with these fun orange sunglasses that she handed out to people that had her website, I think on the inside or something, you know, is that going to drum up a ton of business? No, but it, it stands out, you know, so maybe there's something small that is a conversation starter that you can have with you back to the note taking and everything go through the list of speakers who you know you want to see and in an evernote note an apple note somewhere google doc i don't care put down everybody's research their instagram handles in advance their twitter handles in advance make sure you know the event hashtag in advance because it's going to make it so much easier when you are like posting to your instagram stories and tweeting um, and by the way, when I say be a good tweeter, I really mean just be a good recorder of, for all social media, right? Like you'd be posting this to your stories and, and all sorts of stuff, making sure to tag those speakers and those influencers all along the way. Bring your books, Kathy. Obviously, you're going to want to have some of your books because you're an auth published author. So whichever one maybe is going to, you know, you don't want to fill a suitcase, I guess, full of books, but having a handful wouldn't be a bad idea. Another thing, and so all of us, when we go to conferences, and now we're talking about it again because we're all going to conferences again, if you have um, any kind of a following, when, going to someone else's event like this, like a big conference, is an opportunity for you to host your own mini conference um, because everybody's already there. So when I say mini conference, you can have an early morning uh, coffee with and just put it out, send an invitation to people you know who are already in your community are going to be there. I always do this with front row. I host a front row dinner. Um, once I hosted a VIP like um, breakfast yoga 
thing. I rented out like a little small part of a hotel and I hosted that before the actual meeting began. So it's like, it's, that's something um, to consider bringing everybody together. And then I wanted to show you this. So in, when you go into your computer, go into settings, this is on an Apple computer. So go into settings. Are you seeing this like this thing right here? Yes. All right, keyboard. go in. Yeah, so go into your settings, go to keyboard. And then these are shortcuts that like we, you, everybody needs to be using anyway. They're amazing. I use them all the time. Like, like this one, OMW on my way. I say that one all the time because my husband's like, where are you? And I'm always like, OMW. And then it'll populate on my way. <laughs> or one of my kids, someone's always like, where are you? And so if you're going to be like, um, you're going to be using that event hashtag the whole time that you're at wherever you're going to this digital marketing conference. So you go over here and you're going to click the little plus button down here in the lower corner, and then you're going to type in whatever the abbreviation is. So the thing is you want to always put consonants together. Otherwise, if you type other words, it'll drive you nuts. You don't want it to, right? So we, uh, Candace is nodding. It's like, it's so, it's so aggravating. So you want it to make like, so let's say it's social media marketing world. So, oh, oh, I thought I already have one up there. I don't, but let's say S, M, M. Okay, social media or something to start it. Or you could do like hashtag, sorry, it should start with hashtag. Hashtag S, M, and maybe that's it. And then over here, if you type in hashtag S, M, the whole thing will populate. Hashtag social media marketing world 2022 plus hashtag something else, front row VIP. And you can make the second part as long as you want it to be, but all you have to do is type in hashtag SM and the whole thing is going to populate. So when you're moving fast in the conference and trying to document all the information, this is going to, this is just going to help you go that much faster. Oh, I remembered the other thing that I was going to share with you. I think this was the other thing I was going to share with you is a really great thing to do if you're trying to connect with someone at that conference, right? And you really want them to notice you and you're going to go to their talk. And this is just a nice thing to do is you could go into, and you do, you could do this in advance. Okay. Go into Canva and create um, some graphics and you already have the person's talk. You already know what room number they're in. It's listed in your, in your agenda. So, you know, their, their handle, what they're talking about, what room number they're in create a graphic that has a flattering picture of them and the topic that they're talking about or whatever, and then send that out um, on Twitter, like right before it starts. And I'm going to this talk, you know, join me. Can't wait to hear Amy Porterfield talk about la, 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 la. And, you know, forget Amy Porterfield, do it for a small speaker who is like not the breakout speaker, but they're somebody else and you just want to help them fill up the room. It's just such a nice thing to do. And it takes two seconds and people really appreciate that. And then lastly, just sharing in general, when you go into a talk um, and you share to social media to say, wow, Phyllis is killing it. I am, the, or, or, or when it's over, you know, Phyllis killed it or I learned so much people are able to use that. The, the, the speakers are able to use that, you know, down the road. And again, it's just such a kind thing to do. Pay it forward. When it's your turn up on the stage, you're going to love it so much when people do that. It, it builds your confidence, makes you feel great. And then, oh, and then lastly, the same way, one time I went to a conference and did this and I got a lot of traction from it and it really helped me absorb what I was learning. So what I did was uh, in between the sessions, when I had a break, uh, or I would go to my room or find a, um, uh, a quiet spot. And I remember I would do this in my pajamas at nighttime at the end of the conference with all my notes in front of me. And I would go live and I would say, this is what I learned today. And, you know, James Wedmore said this and Tyler McCall said this about Instagram. And I just summarized it very succinctly and, and like delivered. It was like they got to go to the conferences they got to go to the conference sort of, you know, without having to be at the conference. And, I, and, and that was it. So lots of great ways for you to do that. And in summary, 
the most important thing to do is, is be very intentional and, and, and very deliberate before you go and make your notes and scope out your speakers and start to circle. So you're not the deer in headlights. You know, you get caught chatting with someone in between sessions and you're like, oh, I don't know which session to go to. You're just going to look at your agenda and you already have things highlighted that you don't want to miss. Okay.